it's Ella here and I am the artist and owner of Elliful Deco and today I will be showing you how I make some custom packaging for my artwork. To be honest, I haven't really thought too much of packaging because I mainly sold online and so I just wanted to make sure that everything was secured and arrived safely to its destination. But now I've been starting to sell at markets more and then realized I really need to up my packaging game because I don't bring my whole shipping station, I just bring the paper bags and that's about it. So we're going to make custom pouches for my artwork and before I show you the pouches, I just wanted to show you what we are making the pouches for. So my primary medium is resin and I use epoxy resin to make functional art and jewelry and then I also have a laser cutter that I use to make acrylic and wood jewelry. And for my functional art, I have coasters. So these are coasters that I made, and these are one of my best sellers. Um, we have coasters here, and these jewelry trays. These are also um, one of my best sellers. So they're two different sizes, and that's what I had to think about when I was looking for the pouches too, and thinking about the packaging, the size of my work that needs to be packaged. And so these trays are for like jewelry, people use them for glasses, skincare, organizers, all the little stuff. And then for my jewelry, I primarily sell earrings. So these are, this is an example of one of my earrings. So these are smaller. And I want like velvet pouches because I see a lot of people package, um, package the earrings in small pouches. So that's kind of why I chose the pouches that I will show you in a bit. And then for my pendants, I combined my laser and resin art to make these, um, these floral pendants with the wood frame. So those are the main stuff that I sell at markets, the main things. And there are other things too, but size wise, it's about the same. So. Let me show you the pouches and how we're going to customize them. These are the velvet pouches that I'm talking about. You may be familiar with them. And this size is perfect for the jewelry. I'll just slip that in there. And then I was able to find larger pouches, which will fit the trays and stuff. And then coasters will go in this bag as well, and then any of the larger stuff. And I will be putting my logo on there and I don't know if you can see it. It's probably a little bit, it's white. So I went with white and so it's gonna pop really nicely on the red and the black. I actually, I need to change to red bags but I have gotten some black bags at first so that's why we're going to use those for the small ones and finish up these. Um, and so what this is is direct direct to film DTF transfers and you apply it with heat with heat yeah so I have an um a heat press here from Cricut this is their uh medium size they have three sizes and one is a mini which is for hats or something but it would be really nice to get the mini for these but I had already got this so we're going to use this and we're going to make it work okay we're going to cut these individually and then put them onto the, the pouches with heat. So I got these on Etsy. I got them custom printed. And I chose to do this method. A lot of, um, a lot of custom packaging for things that use like an iron is usually heat transfer vinyl. But my logo is pretty intricate and I don't have the time to be weeding these out so i got these custom printed they print it and it's literally the design is right on there so i don't need to weed or anything i don't need to do anything with this except cut it to my size and um transfer it on with the heat so that's why i chose this method i think i got all of this, this is, i got all of this let me roll it back up first so this roll was, I think, 20 bucks. I will link them in the description if you want to get your own. I think I got a hundred of them. That's, that's all I know. I sized it to fit a hundred 
for the $20. So I think this is about two inches, two or three inches, because I like it will fit really nicely on this. I can center it or and put it down here. But I, I'll probably center it for these. And then for here, I'll put it on the bottom. So it wouldn't look as weird. It won't be like a small logo in the center, but it looks nicer on the bottom right. So I just cut up two for now. Okay, I plugged it in. And we are going to set the temperature to 375. And it's um it's running. I gotta be careful with this. It's hot. Um this is a mat that we will be putting the pouches, the pouches on and yeah. So you can see this is going up and it's it's really big for these, so we're gonna be careful. And this is a close-up of my logo. Oh, it just beat, so it's ready. Um let me just show you my logo first and you can see how it's very intricate here so if we were to use heat transfer vinyl it would be very very tedious and so for this one we're going to put this one right here for the red big pouch and i'm going to try to center this as best as possible for the black pouch um we will start with the red one first um here um actually let me move this Oh, the camera is a little bit in the way. <laughs> um, okay, so just iron it out first. And um, so I think people use like Teflon sheets. I'm going to use this little craft sheet. I don't have the Teflon sheets. So um, this is not my primary medium. So let's hope this works. And put that there. Um, I think it just makes it press nicer. I'm gonna put this down and then press that for 10 seconds. And you can see that like it's really big. So they have a smaller size. And if this is all you're doing, I would suggest you look into the smaller size. Um, and this is, this is cool peel. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Um, I think cool peel means you wait for it to cool and then you take, before you peel the, the top layer off. So I'm gonna do this while we let that cool down a little bit. And then, okay, run this. So I, I put it slightly under, under this so it doesn't, it's a even, um, even surface for this heat press and uh, oh it's hot it's hot it's hot it's hot okay oh I lost some dots let's run it one more time I think this is also making it a little bit uneven but that's why I would suggest if you were to, if this is what you're going to do, like just these small things, the, heat, the smaller heat press you might want to look into. I wanted to use this for shirts actually, but I never got to it. It was a lot of work, so I didn't. Let me try to peel this one. I lost the dot again. I'm losing the dots. Let me just run it again. These dots are these dots are not my friend. Be very careful. okay we can do this again well, let's do this one okay. we we lost we lost two dots here but that's okay look at this look at how cute this is right. 
Let me restart that one. We'll just we'll just cut up another one and do it again. This is no big deal. We learn as we go. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't iron this one beforehand. Let me just Okay. Okay, okay. Um There we go. And in the center. Close close enough to the center. Okay. okay. Let's apply some pressure to this. Um I don't think it came with instructions, but there probably are instructions on the website. Um so if you just have to uh, oh, I got stuck here. If you decide to purchase these transfers, read the instructions first. Um, I think this shifted. It shifted while I was doing it. So sad. I wonder if I could reuse this. Mm, it's okay. It's okay. That's fine. We will. We will deal with this later. Um, here, I'll just cover that up with the pretty one. And I'm not going to peel this. I'm going to run this again before I peel it. I might actually invest in a mini one if this is, if I'm going to make a lot of this. Okay. Okay. We'll let that cool down and um, let me just show you how if I were to put, put this in, you can see, stick that in there, that's, tie that up, that's super, super cute, it doesn't look like it's peeling or anything, feels really nice. That's super cute. <laughs> I love these. Well, it's still pretty warm, but uh, I guess I just lose these dots. I lost another one. Oh well, three dots. That's okay. Um, and it's not so. Eh. It, it's it's okay for for DIY. It's not so centered as I would like it, but that's on me. And then let me just grab a pair of earrings and we'll stick it in there, tie it up. That's colorful. So cute. So we have our two here, and. We don't care for this. <laughs> so these are the two. And there you have it, our own LFO packaging for our LFO products. They are so cute. And so now I'm off to make more because we're gonna have a lot to package and I can't wait to bring them with me to markets. I will be back though to check the comments for your feedback. So let me know in the comments what you think about this video and what else you want to see next. I'll see you next time.